Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm at Lepink and in back to the office because, you know, I spent the whole month in July in Bali and I had this, you know, weekly summaries here on Blockchain Bloom and every single day the short videos. However, as I promised, I will be back from the beginning of August. And yes, this is the 2nd of August and I'm back to the office. So now I also doing the usual daily videos between Monday and Friday plus you get the short videos from Monday to Sunday so as it was you know back in the old days everything is back on track July is was an exception because I was on a family holiday but now I'm back so today what I'm going to talk about right is there a DeFi drama unfolding because of curves so let's talk about the details a little bit then we have actually, um, hang on, where did I move it? Yes, it's here. Uh, Fitch downgrades US long-term rating to AA plus from AAA. Uh, and Janet Yellen is not too happy about it, not even agree with this. And the third topic I would like to discuss is that the SEC sues Richard Hart, you know, the founder of Hex, Pulse chain uh, as uh, saying uh, these are unregistered securities. So basically, these are the things I would like to talk about uh, today. And also, don't forget, if you would like to get this daily fresh information, then simply just subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom, subscribe bell button all, and then you will get the notifications as soon as a new video is out. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content. And now, let's start it. <music> And as usual, for start, let's have a look at the market, how it's doing right now. Well, Bitcoin is basically off 2% in the last 24 hours. It makes Bitcoin price 29,511 uh, US dollar at the moment. Ethereum is up 1.2%. Uh, with that, Ethereum price is 1,857 US dollar. When we're looking at the top gainers in the last 24 hours, XDC Network 15% off, Bone Shiba Swap. 8%, Maker 7%, and among the losers, Curved Out Token is down today uh, 4%, but in the week uh, it was down 21%. I'm going to talk about this story uh, because it was happening, started basically when I was traveling during the weekend, and it's continuously unfolding. 3.5%, Rocket Pool is down, GMX 2%, basically. When we're looking at here the Bitcoin uh, candlestick chart, then we can see here on the daily that, you know, this is um, a falling wedge, kind of. And uh, in the last minute, in the last minute, we a little bit broke out here. Uh, but we were so far held by this resistance around uh, 20, end of 29,000. Uh, and right now we are there. So we're going to see. Uh, do we break this through or are we coming back? We're going to see it pretty soon. Okay, and now let's move on to the first topic. And the first topic, as I just said before, it's all about this DeFi drama, which is unfolding and it's related really to Curve. As I couldn't really cover the story because I was traveling, uh, I would like to get uh, right at the uh, start. So, basically, uh, there was, you know, a curve finance pool exploit by over 47 million US dollar uh, due to, you know, re-entrancy vulnerability. And um, this was because of this bug on Viper. Uh, here are the versions. So, basically, this is the whole thing started. Um, you know, a hacker took uh, uh, this amount. And uh, then actually next step was that an ethical hacker retrieves $5.4 million worth of curve, uh, you know, finance aimed exploit. So this has also happened before, you know, this was this uh, $47 million worth of curve finance uh, token was taken. But this wasn't actually a big deal because when we're looking at these numbers, uh, unfortunately, these are not big numbers. But the problem is here that we have Curve uh, founder, uh, you know, Curve CEO, Michael Agarov. And uh, basically, 
he uh, you know had a 168 million stash uh, which is now under stress and this is creating risk for the DeFi as a whole so curve ceo uh, michael pledged 34 percent of curves total market cap so when we're looking at curve you can see here um you know the total uh, market cap and um and by i mean here let's highlight it for you so 497 million us dollar right that's what we're talking about and now whoops just went back um no actually that was the right one okay so 34 percent this 168 million uh it's at risk right now because uh basically uh what's happened was that uh sorry my highlights yeah my highlights kind of went away um something happened here i don't know exactly right so bottom line is that uh Agrov locked up some 168 million in Curve tokens on Aave to take out 63 million loan in Tether USDT stablecoin. So according to DeFi Lama, uh, the level Agrov's uh, CRV collateral gets liquidated is 37 cents. So when we jump back here, we can see right now Curve is at 56, right? So this is right now the situation. And uh, Agrov also borrowed 70 million of the Frax stablecoin using 32 million of Curve as collateral on stablecoin issuer Fraxland. And here are some others. So basically, the the, the problem is right now that uh, there was this um, you know hack, this bug, uh, what the hacker could use, and because of that, the Curve's price started to drop significantly. But the problem is that if it gets to 37 cent, then there will be huge liquidation. And because, you know, uh, it was taken, you know, an hour from this, uh, uh, so uh, 63 million loan in Tether, USDT, stablecoin, and, and some others here, uh, it can cause a huge problem for the whole, you know, DeFi system. Um, and, and this could have a domino effect and basically then, you know, curve token go, can go down to zero and on in many pools where it is used as a collateral, uh, you know, uh, those, those pools have been a problem as well. And now, uh, crisis, a DeFi giant curve eases after Justin Sun and others step in, uh, with help. So what happened here, Justin Sun, the founder of Throne Blockchain, stepped in to protect against the possible bad debt situation steaming from falling curve, token price that could impact massive loan tied to Curve Finance founder, uh, Michael Agrigov. So what's happened here, uh, Sun purchased about 5 million Curve from the wallet tagged to Curve uh, dot, uh, Curfee founder and an average price of uh, 40 cent. So, uh, in an over-the-counter uh, transaction, so obviously not on an exchange, this amount is just over 2.3 million US dollar, while Sun paid well below the 59 uh, cent trading price back then, as I showed you, it was 56 right now. And but it's definitely more than the 37 uh, price level. And uh, the thing is that others jumped in also after uh, Justin Sun purchased uh, this uh, crypto investor Jeffrey Hong, known online as uh, actually Big Brother, uh, bought uh, 3.75 million tokens by crypto fund uh, DWF Labs and DeFi Protocol, bought 2.5 million curve each. Um, when you're looking at here, here we have uh, these guys, uh, how much curve they have both. <coughs> so basically, the situation is just not over. If you're looking at curve surprise in the last seven days, then we can see, you know, it went down uh, from here, which was around 73 cents, all the way down to 50 cents. And right now it's at 56 so, well, after Sun started to buy, it kind of recovered, but, you know, we will see how this uh, story... It's not finished yet, right? Uh, it, it The whole situation should uh, stabilize itself. And, you know, the bad thing is always that uh, if, um, you know, the, the traders see that there is a great short uh, opportunity, then 
the market starts to go in that direction and then people start to short it and and then you know this 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 could be actually dangerous we have seen it in several cases but the uh, question could this be the next terra luna thing uh, because curve unfortunately is, is one of the biggest here in the DeFi sector but it's crazy that the owner actually uh, used uh, one third of curves market cap as a collateral yeah i mean you know every day we have something here new as i said many times you know this industry is just just you know just in a very early stage uh, even bitcoin uh, biggest one and the first uh, cryptocurrency is uh, basically 14 years old and the majority of the 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 market uh, the, the coins, what you can see uh, out there, uh, came just out in the last couple of years, so or even later. So yes, yes, we we're going to see what's going to happen here. But uh, it's it's really crazy if if you have a hack and what a hack can cause. But the problem is here: why this guy took out that amount of money? I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, got it, needed the money or something, but like um, that's that's kind of dangerous. Okay uh next topic the next topic is uh all about uh the us uh, which was uh downgraded and actually janet yellen doesn't really agree with this but to be honest with you i don't understand her so fitch basically downgrades us long-term rating to to uh, aa plus uh, from triple A, and um, you know, let's just yeah. Uh, so Fitch uh, rating downgraded United States long-term foreign currency issuer default rating to AA plus from triple A on Tuesday, pointing to expected fiscal uh, deterioration over the next three years and erosion of governance and a uh, growing general debt burden. And uh, look, we should look at this here. So basically, Janet Yellen says uh, she cannot understand it. The White House says they disagree. But to be honest with you, you know, the debt ceiling was, you know, raised. Basically, there's no ceiling right now. This just happened back in June, right? Beginning of June. And US has added 1.3 trillion US dollar to the national debt. So if they don't understand why they are downgraded, I think this is a very simple reason how they inflating actually uh, the US dollar. But this is actually huge because, you know, the United States uh, economy and the US dollar uh, is supposed to be, you know, it's a pretty strong one. But to downgrade uh, the US um, to... AA plus from AAA, it's definitely a message that, you know, there are some problems and everybody can see it. Right, okay. And now the next topic. The next topic, it's uh, all about uh, the SEC's now after Richard Hart, you know, uh, saying that hacks and Pulse chain, uh, um, you know, are unregistered securities. And of course, we had this uh, now recently many times that after the SEC is after some kind of uh, crypto projects saying that they are unregistered securities. But actually, this one is here right now, the latest. Well, let me share the screen again. Okay, so US SEC sues Richard Hart, hacks Pulse Chain on unregistered uh, securities, and um, basically Hart raised over 1 billion US dollar across three different unregistered security offering. Uh, this is what the SEC is basically saying. So. Pulse X and Pulse Chain launched earlier this month, but you know, uh, faced a rocky start in the weeks immediately after going live, seeing you know high fees, liquidity issues, exploitable bugs, and the price of Hex uh, PLS and PLX X token fell post launch. But this is just another thing. The the most important thing now that uh, first of all they're saying that uh, Richard has used the investors' money to basically 
buy for himself very very expensive things you know there are a lot of videos over uh, the social media as he is buying you know Louis Vuitton all these kind of very very expensive uh, clothes and you know other things having a luxury lifestyle and <clears throat> they assume that uh, he probably used the investors money which is which is which is not that great obviously in many cases, Hex really feels like a, a scam project, and now the SEC is after uh, Richard. And actually, we could see that Hex went down uh, quite sig significantly. It's already down. It was already down like 99% or something to compare to its all-time high, but actually, it went down another further 50% from there. And there we had also, uh, you know, uh, polls going down. So yes, this is now the latest. Of course, it takes again many, many months or even years to clarify this whole situation. And recently, as we figured out that SEC is saying something, it doesn't mean that they are right. So we have to wait till the end of the trial to figure, uh, find out what are the truths as in the recent case with XRP. You know, it turned out that XRP is not a security. doesn't matter that the SEC is saying that. Of course, Kyrgyzstan is just simply not happy about it and <clears throat> keep pushing, but uh, the market doesn't take that as serious as before when the XRP case was the very, very first one and we didn't have history uh, what's happening to these, uh, you know, cases. Right. Okay, guys, basically that's it for today. So as I said, today I'm going to make you uh, uh, short videos as well. And uh, of course, uh, tomorrow, after tomorrow, I'm back here with these daily videos, just like in the old days before July, as I have done it already for more than three years. Uh, every single day, you're getting the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news here on Blockchain Bloom. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this kind of content, definitely hit the like button. So guys, see you tomorrow or in the next short video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.